All right, y'all. It's that time. The time of year. I'm about to hit this Murph. So, took a poll on my Twitter about how y'all wanted me to approach this. Now, some of y'all who might have asked on the poll or, or voted on it, y'all might not know. I've done this workout probably a hundred times, maybe more than that. So, I wasn't asking for your advice on how to do the workout. I was just like, hey, how should I partition these reps out? Give me your opinion and I'm going to go do it. So, the opinion that won was doing this with each movement to failure. So if you're watching this, you don't know. Murph to work out. It honors um, Lieutenant Michael Murphy, who died. Um, if you've seen the movie, a Lone Survivor, he was the radio man that, you know, basically wrote, um, climbed up to the top of that hill and got shot up to send the radio signal out that eventually got the um, support flown in that saved Marcus Luttrell. It's also kind of special to me because um, where I live, I live literally right up the road from Marcus, where Marcus Luttrell was born and raised and where a lot of his family still is. So um, when I'm doing this workout, I take it, you know, pretty, it's pretty serious. There's like a little extra weight because you can really feel you're not just doing this as a way to get a good burn. You know, you're honoring people. So, anyway, the workout's a mile run, 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 air squats, another mile run, and then you do it in a weighted vest or body armor if you got that. So, this vest is about 24 pounds. It got a little extra weight in it. That's okay. And so, the vote that won was for me to do each movement, each of the three movements, until I break the set, then move on to the next movement. So, more or less, going max effort each set before I break it up. So, I'm about to get after it. I'll let y'all know who it goes, or how it goes. Peace. First mile's done. Clock's running. Let's get some.
I'm right. So just finished 45 minutes and change on that Murph. Again, 20, 24 pound vest for me. And I did each movement until I had to break a set and moved on to the next movement. So it's like, you know, you're maxing out on your pull-ups. So like my first set, I did like 16 pull-ups. When I drop from the bar, then I start my push-ups, right? Do as many push-ups as you can until you got a break. Then you do your squats. Now my rule on the squats was if I had to pause for more than three seconds, that's a broken set and back to pull-ups. So a um, bunch of different ways to do this. Fastest way I've ever done is 20 sets of five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, 15 squats. Another good way to do it is 50 sets, two pull-ups, four push-ups, six squats. That's a good way, especially like if you can't consistently hit five, 10, 15, or some of those bigger sets, so you're not resting too much. But again, key to this workout is just keep moving. Don't get stuck standing still for too long because all of that fatigue is gonna start catching up with you. You're gonna be less fatigued, you're gonna finish faster, and you're gonna get more benefit if you just keep moving. Again, we're doing this to honor the, fall, honor the fallen, so remember that while you're doing it. I'm gonna link in the description an article I wrote last year Last year I did this workout in under 30 minutes and I'm gonna detail my training program, what I did to get myself there and then how to approach the workout as well. So have a great Memorial Day y'all, stay safe. Coach Monk, out.